What's up? I'm sick. So if I sound different, it's because there's a uh, an alarming amount of mucus in my throat. Anyway, for this week's video, I had you guys send me questions, and uh, I'm gonna answer some of them. Um, some of them didn't make sense at all, which was kind of dope. Here's the first one. Did you hear about the 800 pound man who was kicked out of a hospital for ordering pizzas? I did. So for those of you who don't know, an 800 pound man was kicked out of a hospital for ordering Domino's. The hospital had him on the strict diet plan, and he had lost like 20 pounds, I think, and he like bought pizza as like a cheat day meal, and the hospital was like, okay, later. But here's the deal. This dude has an eating addiction, obviously. And the hospitals are serving what? Applesauce, yogurt, and a juice box. Who's not gonna order Domino's after eating that for an extended period of time? I am. Cinestix too. Oh, and just so you know, this guy, after getting kicked out of the hospital, is living in the back of his dad's SUV because he can't physically get up the stairs to his room. Like, how are you a hospital? And you just go, yeah, uh, we're just, we're not gonna help you anymore. Uh, we're not gonna do our jobs, no. Um, you're extremely unhealthy, that's obvious, and we have everything in this building to, to help you get better, but, uh, you, you had a pepperoni slice, so we just, we can't, we can't help you, alright? Good luck, uh, enjoy the F SUV, enjoy it. What? You're a hospital! You help people! That's like a fireman showing up to a fire and going, Ah, uh, what happened? The boiler exploded? You're not supposed to do that, uh. We can't help anymore if you did that. I'm sorry. Ugh. Accident? I don't- it doesn't matter. If it explodes, we- I'm sorry. We can't help. What? Dude! Do it! If you could be anyone else for 24 hours, who would you be? I don't know who I would be, but I know who I wouldn't be. Like, I would never ever want to be Justin Bieber. At all. Recently, this kid's Lincoln log was all over the internet because he was skinny dipping in Bora Bora. Do you know what Bora Bora looks like? It's like this big on a map. It's in the middle of the ocean. It's probably the most secluded place on Earth. Besides maybe a blockbuster in like Wyoming, because who's going there? But it's so secluded. Like if I can't have my wiener out on vacation, I don't want to live. It was probably some paparazzi also. By the way, what is one paparazzi? Is paparazzi like the group of people? Like that's the paparazzi? but one of them is like a paparaz. <laughs> I don't know how dumb I am, <laughs> but there's questions like these that make me feel like, you know, I shouldn't be talking to people. How bored are we as a society that we will follow Justin Bieber to Bora Bora, get on one of those flimsy ass planes that like lands in the water, and then take pictures from a mile away and pray to God that a nut pops out by accident when he goes to sit down. Dude, if people followed me around all day and were taking pictures of me, what? Like, I would be on TMZ for, like, every episode. What do you think about Donald Trump and his ideas? Also, do you think it's okay when you're a guy that you want to bang your girlfriend and her hot best friend in a threesome? No secrets. What the- How did we get from Donald Trump and his ideas to a threesome with your girlfriend and her hot best friend? Those are completely different things. I love how this kid said no secrets at the end of this thing as, like, a disclaimer. As if he could have a threesome with his girlfriend without her knowing. Wait! Is there someone else in this bed? What? No, I don't I don't hear anything. No, seriously. I think someone is having sex with us. Hello? Is anyone there? Um, hi. Jessica! That was my reenaction of how that would go in the dark. Okay, I got two questions here. If a gay person wearing makeup and mini skirt and does a lot of gay things suddenly banged her head on the floor accidentally, instantly having amnesia, would that gay guy still be gay when he wakes up? What? This is the hardest word problem I've ever come across in my life. This should be on all state tests. If a gay person wearing makeup and mini skirts and does a lot of gay things suddenly banged her head on the floor accidentally having amnesia, would that gay guy be gay when he wakes up. Is it a guy or a girl or do we got two different injuries going on here? I don't even know how to even listen bottom line doesn't matter if it's a guy or a girl you can't just bang your head and make yourself gay or ungay that's not how it works i've met zero people whose sexuality has been changed due to an injury that would be pretty insane guys tommy broke his arm and now he's gay yeah it's true god i love brad pitt and fight club his abs are like stealing Did you see this guy said he had two questions so here's the second one can you tell me what are the colors of farts 
especially those freshly launched from Mega Farters. I actually typed Mega Farter into Amazon because I thought it was like an item. I thought it was like a toy. Like you shoot farts at people. I don't know. Mega Farter? And dudes, farts don't have colors. I think. I don't. Why am I answering this? Well, that's all for this week's video, which was sponsored by Audible, which is a site that has over 180,000 different titles of audiobooks. I use it. People think I don't, but I do. I recently went to Bo Burnham's stand-up show, so now I'm listening to his book. It's called Egghead. It's like a collection of poems. It's hilarious. You can get that book or another book for free if you sign up using my link, audible.com slash Santagato. Again, it's audible.com slash Santagato. You get a free 30-day trial membership. All the information is in the description. All right, and that is all, and I will see you guys next Tuesday.